Now we're looking at the uh, cornice and the corners and the soppets up here. I've got one of them modeled here already. Uh, you can kind of see what we've got going on here. And to start with, uh, you need to build your corner boards just like um, last semester in a floor plan, do an extrusion and a sketch. But these are uh, one by six boards. So they need to be three quarters of an inch thick and then go five and a half inches on the outside in both, uh, both directions. Uh, if you need, I'll show you a sketch here. Okay, so it's three quarters of an inch thick and five and a half from that point to this point. And the insides should be uh, to the core of the wall. Uh, and then also on the front, we're going five and a half over across the front also. Okay. Not the normal way that we might think about doing it, but uh, that's what our little plans call for. Okay. And then uh, you can go ahead and put those two on the front. You can put one in, extrude it up, copy it, rotate it, edit it in place, and put it back in there and, and get it in. Now, we want to bring it up to the bottom of the horizontal soffit. And then this piece of subfascia here, you want to bring back, bring back and then bring it in so it butts up against the corner board. Okay. And then this piece of soffit here, let me change color so you can see that. We want to pull it back up from the corner of the roof and make this dimension two foot three and five sixteenths. Okay, and that's going to get our the appropriate size for what we want here. Okay, and you can see I've done that one. Okay. So once we get those things done, uh, <clears throat> now we're gonna do some um, extrusions and things like that. Uh, let's see, what's the first one I need to do? Okay, so we'll do these boards here, this L shape. And so we're gonna, and I'm, I'm working in my south elevation. I think it'd be easier to do it in, in that elevation. So we're gonna go model in place, generic model, extrusion, and I am working on grid line four. That's when I set it up, that's what's going across the front of the garage wall there. And let's see, I think that needs to be zero and 0.75, okay. All right, and we're gonna start with a pick line of that. Okay. Oh, I need to, I need to look in a section view. Okay. I've already got a section set up. And I'll, let me show you. I set this section up right here across the front of the garage. So it's going through uh, my soffit area. And it'll be easier to work there because you can see everything that you need. So this thing is gonna you see it comes down over with the bottom of the soffit and then it's offset by five and a half inches from there. So I'll pick in my soffit there or in my fascia. Pick a line, 
bottom of soppet. Let's join those together. And now we'll do an offset of five and a half inches to the outside of both. Pick lines and trim everything up. So that it looks like so. And then I think that that extrusion distance is going to work good for me. That looks good there. Okay, so I've got another section here. And let me flip it. I may need to move it over a little more. I'll have to come back here and select it and then go back and look. Okay, so there it is. It is outside of the, the siding. Okay, so that's got that one. It's got that part. Now I want to, let's see. I'm trying to think back. Let me go back to my section and see how I built this one over here. Okay, so that piece. And it goes bottom of soppet, okay. So now we'll do another one. Extrusion. I'm still working on what was my grid number four. And this one, we're going to come out. I think it's six inches. I think that's right. We, whoop, okay, we'll see. And so now I'm going to pick a line. I'm going to pick th that line, that line, and bottom of soffit there. And then I'll do an offset. 0.75 inches uh, offset there 0.75 sorry and now I'll trim Change color so you can see that. So now you can see the, the profile of my sketch. And I think it's a six inch extrusion. Come over here and check this one. Yes, zero to six grid four, okay. So let's get that part down. Now I need to edit this soffit again. Or I could put my front piece in first. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do this piece right here. And you can see I've got it. It comes down to the bottom of the fascia on the outside and attaches there. And it's only three quarters of an inch thick. Okay, but I want to look at my... Minus six, minus six and three quarters. Okay. So let's do another one over here. Uh, 
do da do. Picked lines. I want the bottom of that fascia. Bottom of that piece. And the back side of that. And now let's trim these. So now you can see my profile there. And that's this is the bottom of the fascia that runs where it clips off and runs across the front. It's not that line. And I want to go minus six for my start, minus six and three quarters for the end. Oh, that's my grip. Okay. So now you can see how we've got that made. Okay. And now we need to edit the soffit under there. And I've been working in my uh, first floor floor plan. Or my first floor. Come on, soffit. First floor reflected ceiling plan. So I'm going to edit my boundary of that. And let's pick another line right there. Uh, well, let's try to pick a wall. How about that? Okay. And I'm not sure that's the right line. It might be. Let me try it. What I ended up is my soffit that came down was tied to that one. So that's why it didn't like that. But here's where it came across. And, oh, wow, it took it. Oh, well, I'm in section view. So south. Okay. So in my section view, you can see here my soffit came on over. Why is that? Oh. There. <laughs> Duh. It was a foot long. So there's... There's my soffit that I edited. You can see it now wraps that corner. Like it's supposed to. Okay. This is my vertical board on the inside. Okay, I can see there that needed to come back. Three quarters of an inch. Okay, so that's good there, and we're just we're just gonna leave that one coming down. That's not a problem. That'll get pushed up against it. These things come together. If I go back to my south elevation, you can see how everything's looking good there in that way. So let's go to 3D and 
get a nice pretty color of it. And now then to make it, and these are okay because they're different pieces of board, but we want these two to blend together. So I'm going to go join, choose my fascia, and then choose my extrusion. And that'll join them together. Okay, isn't this looking good? All right, so this garage wall, if you look at your plans, you can see that the way those things uh, have a return. And this thing shows the gutters wrapping and returning across the front on the, the paper drawings. I don't know that we're going to wrap gutters across the front. We'll see. I, we may not even do gutters on this project. I don't know yet. Uh, you guys did them last time, so you had experience with them. So I don't think we'll do the gutters. But that's how this one looks. The other ends of the house and the porch have just regular endings, which I'll show you how to do one of those also. Uh, it's very similar. It's just we're not coming way back in. It just all ends with the ends of the walls. So work on those two for the front, and then we'll move on to the next big thing.